Ever wondered what would happen if two martial arts legends squared off on the bustling streets of Wall Street? Well, today's your lucky day because we're diving into the electrifying showdown between the incomparable Bruce Lee and the sensational Donnie Yen. I know what you're thinking, Bruce Lee versus Donnie Yen? Who would win? Let's find out. But before we unravel this epic clash, let's understand the strengths and weaknesses of these titans. Bruce Lee, widely regarded as the father of modern martial arts cinema, brought a unique blend of speed, agility, and philosophy to the fighting arena. His strengths lay in his lightning-fast strikes, impeccable timing, and a revolutionary approach to martial arts training. Lee's Jeet Kune Do philosophy, characterized by its practicality and efficiency, emphasized adapting to the opponent's movements rather than relying on traditional, rigid techniques. Lee's mastery of multiple martial arts, including Wing Chun, boxing, and fencing, enabled him to seamlessly integrate different styles into his own. His unmatched physical conditioning, coupled with a deep understanding of biomechanics, allowed him to execute powerful strikes with minimal telegraphing. However, Bruce Lee was not without weaknesses. Despite his exceptional speed, he faced challenges when confronted with opponents who could absorb and endure his intense barrage of strikes. Donnie Yen, a contemporary martial arts icon, rose to prominence for his roles in martial arts films and his own prowess as a martial artist. Yen's strengths are rooted in a strong foundation of traditional martial arts, with a particular focus on wushu, tai chi, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Known for his fluidity of movement and impeccable choreography, Yen possesses a versatility that allows him to seamlessly transition between different styles. Yen's combat philosophy revolves around practicality and adaptability, much like Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do. His proficiency in both armed and unarmed combat, combined with a deep understanding of cinematic martial arts, has earned him acclaim as one of the most well-rounded martial artists in the industry. However, Yen, like any other fighter, has vulnerabilities. His reliance on choreography and stylized movements could be exploited by an opponent who can disrupt the flow and rhythm of his attacks. The stage was set on Wall Street, with a crowd gathering to witness the clash of these martial arts legends. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation as Bruce Lee and Donnie Yen faced each other in the center of the iconic financial district. The duel commenced with a respectful bow paying homage to the martial arts traditions they both cherished. From the opening moments, it was evident that this battle would be a spectacle of speed and skill. Bruce Lee's lightning-fast jabs and kicks met Donnie Yen's precise strikes, creating a mesmerizing display of martial prowess. The fighters exchanged a series of rapid movements, each anticipating the other's actions and responding with lightning reflexes. Bruce Lee's superior speed allowed him to penetrate Yen's defenses with a barrage of strikes that left the latter momentarily on the defensive. Lee's adaptability and fluidity became apparent as he seamlessly switched between various martial arts techniques, keeping Yen guessing and struggling to find an opening. However, Donnie Yen's resilience came to the fore as he absorbed Lee's strikes, gradually adapting to the frenetic pace of the battle. Yen's mastery of wushu and tai chi allowed him to redirect the force of Lee's attacks, showcasing his own ability to adapt on the fly. The fight reached a fever pitch as both martial artists unleashed their full arsenal of techniques, creating a breathtaking spectacle of skill and strategy. In the midst of the intense exchange, a pivotal moment occurred that would ultimately tip the scales in Bruce Lee's favor. Recognizing Yen's reliance on choreographed movements, Lee strategically disrupted the flow of the fight by introducing unpredictable combinations and feints. This disrupted Yen's rhythm, leaving him momentarily vulnerable to Lee's precise strikes. Bruce Lee's strategic mind came into play as he exploited Yen's vulnerabilities, combining his unparalleled speed with unpredictable movements. With a lightning-quick series of strikes, Lee managed to breach Yen's defenses and land a decisive blow that left the crowd in awe. The impact of Lee's strike, delivered with the precision and force he was renowned for, signaled the end of the epic battle. In the aftermath of the clash on Wall Street, Bruce Lee emerged as the victor, showcasing not only his physical prowess but also his strategic brilliance. While both martial artists demonstrated extraordinary skill and adaptability, it was Bruce Lee's ability to disrupt his opponent's rhythm and exploit weaknesses that secured his triumph. The duel between Bruce Lee and Donnie Yen became a defining moment in the history of martial arts, illustrating the evolution of combat styles and the enduring legacy of these two iconic figures. The crowd dispersed with a newfound appreciation for the fusion of traditional and modern martial arts, leaving Wall Street echoing with the echoes of a battle that would be talked about for generations. And there you have it, the clash of the titans on Wall Street concludes with Bruce Lee emerging victorious, his legacy immortalized on the iconic street of power and finance. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep the martial arts spirit alive.